I think the Los Angeles Chargers are in a great spot right now. They ended up winning their first two games of the season and then dropping their next two and then coming off of their bye, beating the Denver Broncos. They currently have a 66% chance to make the playoffs because their next five games are all very favorable. I do think the Chargers legitimately will win their next five games and get right back to where they started, which was just dominating on both sides of the football. I love the way this roster is constructed. I certainly love going out and of course getting Jim Harbaugh and Greg Roman. I mean, both of those guys, just what they've done to the offense of dominating in the trenches, running the football, the play action. Justin Herbert had by far his best game of the season, 237 yards, of course, had that touchdown pass through the air. Herbert was able to move, step up in the pocket, maneuver around, just get the ball on time. This was vintage Justin Herbert. He looked great, and that's why the Chargers got off to a 23 to nothing lead. But then unfortunately, they ended up not scoring in the fourth quarter. They only scored three points in total in the second half. And that's primarily because they took their foot off the gas. They were running the ball. They were being very conservative, being very predictable. And the reason why the Chargers saw so much success early on in this game is because they were throwing the football. This was the first time all year where I've looked at the Chargers and said, wow, Justin Herbert, this is the guy back in 2021 that was a pro bowler. This was a guy that, of course, broke multiple NFL records. Just seeing Herbert healthy was great. Greg Roman was able to dial up the plays he wanted to. And that was something that I was questioning because I didn't think that Greg Roman was a bad OC at calling passing plays. Obviously, I didn't think Justin Herbert was washed or anything crazy like that. But it was more so just his ankle. He was dealing with injuries in training camp and then coming into the season was dealing with more injuries. But this was the first look in a month. We've seen Herbert actually look like himself and that's why he was so dominant. But obviously there's things to clean up. It wasn't perfect. It came down to an onside kick and thankfully the Chargers uh, well, it ended up going out of bounds. But this was close to being a disaster. But all that matters is the win. The Chargers are now 3-2. If they had lost this game, they would have went to 2-3. and three. The Broncos would have went to 4-2. and two. It would have just been an absolute nightmare. But thankfully for this team, they are in the best possible situation outside of being undefeated. But, like, good guys, look. Arizona, New Orleans, Cleveland, Tennessee, Cincinnati. A lot of beatable teams coming up. The Chargers are getting healthier and healthier. We're going to look at where the team overall ranks right now. Of course, coming off of that win. Starting off with the offense. So in terms of points per game, the Chargers are 26. Passing offense, they're 29th. Now, a lot of that is just due to the fact that they got off to that really just slow two game losing streak only scoring 10 against the Steelers 10 against the Chiefs the passing game was non-existent and because of that the run game wasn't existent as well because they were one dimensional so you got to add context in here because the first two weeks the Chargers were killing it man right they were scoring 22 points 26 points running deep run offense was the best we'd seen in Chargers history but then we saw it sort of backtrack but now it's on the rise against the Broncos I thought Honestly, J.K. Dobbins looked great. I would have given him a game ball if I was the head coach. Uh, Dobbins was amazing in, in that game against Denver. He ends up carrying the ball 25 times for 96 yards and a touchdown. A 3.8 yards per carry isn't anything to be thrilled about, but it just got the job done. He was a workhorse, and the Chargers played through him a lot in this game. And you got to remember, how many of these carries were in the second half with a big lead being predictable? He's getting hit behind the line of scrimmage or hit as soon as he touches it. So that was a big thing as well. It's just like you got to add some context when you're talking about these, these football games. But like rushing offense, the Chargers are still 10th. In terms of total offense, they're 28. So the offense does need to just do what it did against Denver in the first half, right? Third quarter, fourth quarter, no, but just consistency. And the Cardinals defense is so bad. We just saw what Jordan Love and the Packers did do it. You know, Josh Jacobs that you now this team is, is just gonna have a monster game offensively. I'm starting Dobbins in fantasy against Arizona. I might even start Herbert. I, they're gonna put up a ton of points in that game. Third down, they're tenth. Red zone scoring, they're 28. So you can see it's like the Chargers are either top 10 or they're at the, the bottom half of the league. It's so it's a lot to clean up upon. Sacks allowed 11th, which is good. The offensive line, uh, and a lot of those came as well in that game against the Steelers with the, the tackles being hurt and no Herbert. No Heineke came in with sack more than he had completions. And then turnovers, just two, which is first. So very good. Not turning the football over, running it well, picking up third downs. You know, Normally that's a recipe for success. And that's why the Chargers are over 500. The goal coming into the season, it wasn't necessarily to win the Super Bowl. I know, yes, like the main goal of a team is always to win the Super Bowl, but it was more so just to build a culture, to build an identity, and to just just win games, right? Win some games, be tough, physical, dominate up front. 
things we haven't seen the Chargers do in a long time. And, and this team is just on the right track, man. I mean, USA Today has them 17th in power rankings. NFL has them 15th. ESPN 17th. CBS Sports 14th. Sports Illustrated 15th. Bleacher Board 16th. So you guys can see everyone has them about middle of the pack in the NFL, which is great, man. Just There's been a lot of unfortunate things that haven't gone the Chargers way. And the fact that they're middle of the road, they're getting healthy, they have a soft schedule coming up, this team is truly about to turn up. Yeah, game balls going out to Justin Herbert, Elijah Molden, the offensive line, Khalil Mack. I mean, Lad McConkey and Quinton uh, Johnson ended up getting injured and they just weren't really themselves, which sucked. But I would give a game ball to J.K. Dobbins. I know I mentioned that earlier. This article doesn't. I mean, Dobbins was a workhorse. They played through him and he's just been a big time pickup. But I'm looking at Los Angeles and I'm just extremely encouraged about what's to come. I mean, they're playing some high level football this season. The game against the Steelers was tied going into the fourth. The game against the Chiefs, they lost by the seven points. They were up 10 at nothing. Very easily could be 5-0. Well, I mean, I guess it would actually be, yeah, it would be 5-0. and oh. The bye week's so confusing. A week five bye, you just don't see that very often. But it was the best possible time, man, just because of all the injuries. And guys look to be themselves, right? You know, Joe Alt, Rashawn Slater, Justin Herbert. I'm looking forward to seeing Joey Boza come back. We saw what he was able to do at the beginning of the year when he was healthy, and that was just wreak absolute havoc. I mean, the guy was barely out there. Um, against the Steelers and he still ended up making a play he was good against the Panthers so yeah I'm, I'm very encouraged obviously you no know, Derwin against the, the Chiefs in that week four game I just think Los Angeles they're building a blueprint which is getting after the quarterback running the football building off of play action not turning it over and even though they did let the Broncos nearly come back they did recover that onside it went out of bounds they of course did make it difficult you know backing the Broncos into their own territory and they had some plays go against them but I just think the Chargers have a lot of talent and it's just it's the right talent too it's guys that fit together that fit the scheme we've seen the Chargers go out there on in free agency and go on a spending spree and make some moves that they shouldn't have I mean Tom Telesco I was never the biggest fan of he goes over the Raiders and you can see the Raiders are, are heading in the opposite direction to the Chargers right now they've got a losing record and it's looking like they're going to be picking towards the top of the NFL draft and their culture is terrible with Antonio Pierce, which is surprising. But you know, for the Chargers, they realize that you know, we've got Jim Harbaugh, a guy that's won at college. He's won at the NFL level and he's come in here and he's done things his way with Greg Roman. He's tried to take as much pressure off on Justin Herbert as possible. And that's why we're seeing Herbert start to, to have some success. You want to run the football. You want to protect him. And when Herbert does need to make plays, number two ranked defense in Denver, he can't. 21 of 34, 237 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions, 92.4 rating. I'm excited to see Herbert moving forward. He's always been one of my favorite players in the football, and he's a large reason why I cover the Chargers. But this game, it's going to be a lot of fun. Arizona, I don't think it's that great. I think their defense stinks. I mean, Kyler's been so inconsistent this year. Marvin might not even play. He's questionable right now. So if I'm the Chargers, I've got to get this game. And there's a chance for them to get extremely hot because outside of the next five games, you're looking at Baltimore, Atlanta, Kansas City, Tampa Bay. I mean, that, that's tough, guys. Those are four teams that are probably making the playoffs right the chargers they've got to take care of business they got to win four of these next five or five of five and set themselves up but if we're truly being honest there's so much football left i think anything can happen man but all i know is the chargers are heading in the right direction it's going to be a lot of fun and this team if they can just stay healthy i think they can compete in the afc there isn't one team that's separating themselves from everyone else we just saw the chiefs and the chargers play and it came down to to that close and, and half the team was out so yeah chargers got a chance man they've got a chance they just need to continue to fight and fight every single day.